This is Making Mathematicians, bringing you an introduction to the eight mathematical practices. The eight mathematical practices are used in a successful inventor and mathematician. So what does it take to be one of those? Well, it takes an inquisitive nature, a creative thinker, and the ability to problem solve. Who would you consider some of the most famous inventors of all time? Thomas Edison, the inventor of the light bulb. Alexander Graham Bell, the inventor of the telephone. Or what about George Washington? George Washington? Yeah, the first president of the United States. He was absolutely an inventor. He was quite an accomplished inventor and problem solver. He solved many unusual problems in order to make Mount Vernon a successful plantation and a comfortable place to live and entertain. As you read Help Wanted at Mount Vernon, you find out places where the characters run into some of the problems that confronted George Washington. As the characters brainstorm possible solutions, you will also get a chance. You can brainstorm your own solution to problems. And you can find out how George Washington solved the same problem. You can also ponder other possible solutions or questions to consider. Like all successful problem solvers and inventors, there are certain practices used to become more effective. The mathematical community refers to these habits of mind as the eight mathematical practices. The eight mathematical practices are, number one, make sense of problems and persevere in solving them. Number two, reason abstractly and quantitatively. Number three, construct viable arguments and critique the reasoning of others. Number four, model with mathematics. Number five, use appropriate tools strategically. Number six, attend to precision. Number seven, look for and make use of structure. And number eight, look for and express regularity in repeated reasoning. As you explore the many ways George Washington solved complicated problems on his estate, consider the eight mathematical practices and know that as a mathematician, the problem is as important as the solution. We must always look for new and creative ways to solve problems and examine their efficiency. Remember, as a student of mathematics, it is better to solve one problem five ways than five problems one way.